went through my mind, but uh, probably the most uh, the most significant one is just the idea that as space has become a lot more popular in in kind of the, the mass market this year, uh, China has become a lot more prominent in space, and so the timing has been really interesting. And in particular for the Chang'e Five mission, I was impressed with the the YouTube live stream of the retrieval of the um, of the, the samples today, and and sort of uh, some of the the content being generated. Um, by, by China in, in the Western uh, media, which I think is, is relatively new. I think that's been a uh, surprise. You know, everyone's been talking about the samples from the moon, but what do you think scientists hope to learn, not just from these samples, but uh, the equipment and everything else that went along with this mission? Sure. So I, I would, as to your point, I would separate it into the samples and then some of the technology that has been proven on this mission. So in terms of the samples, um, as your correspondent in Beijing mentioned, this is the first lunar sample return mission in over 40 years, so 1976. So this is just, um, you know, we have not had this type of um, of material for quite a long time. And then also these samples are, are some of the, the younger uh, rocks that have ever been taken and, and some of the younger regolith that's been taken from the moon, again, because of the volcanic activity that stopped a few billion uh, years ago. And then in terms of um, the technology side, a lot of different technologies have been now verified during this mission. So things like uh, lifting off from the lunar surface, this is the first uh, example of China doing that, um, and then also having an automated rendezvous in lunar orbit and having the, the docking in lunar orbit as well. So these uh, technologies now being um, proven, it, it opens the door for, for future similar missions. And I want to ask you about that in just a moment, but first your, your thoughts on what this mission means for China's space program. So I think this is probably um, Again, an indication of you know space becoming bigger and, and more popular globally, and I think China having now one of the largest and most sophisticated space programs, um, they are one of the few countries that is capable of doing these very kind of big ticket projects. And so I think, um, for example, with Chang'e 6, the upcoming project that will be kind of a, a follow on to this, there's going to be uh, some cooperation with France. And I think that's it's an example of a country with a very strong space program, France, that, that may not have um, the resources to do a really large mission like this, and so they're now partnering with China. And, and again, I think there are going to be a lot of missions in the future where China is taking the leading role just because they have the size and the scale, and there are other countries that are, again, increasingly wanting to participate in space uh, that are going to be able to do so um, through collaboration with, with China, I think. Right. And of course, the next goal is to uh, put man on the moon within the next 10 years. Um, how does this mission build on that goal? What do you think we'll see in the next decade from China? Um, so I, I think one of the, again, one of the kind of indirect ways that this mission builds on it is that I think space is just becoming a lot more um, popular. People are starting to, to see it. And I think that that's one of the things that we will need to um, to get a, a human mission back to the moon is is a lot of popular support. There's, there's going to, it's going to cost a lot of money and take a lot of engineers. And missions like Chang'e Five that are that are really highly publicized and that get a lot more people interested in space. I think to that extent, it it certainly helps. And then again, some of the technologies that I mentioned before, I mean that that will certainly be helpful um, in sending people to the moon. And, and also some of the analysis done on, on the samples as well should give us better understanding of of the moon surface.